Hello and welcome to Fallout New Vegas. I may say, continuing where I left off yesterday as a Bukopo pushed cowboy postman, cowboy career. So I've just been to Nipton and things are not looking good there. Good rescue captors, but I'm not in any immediate hurry. Let's have a look around on Prim, which has some powder ganger issues. Yeah. Head off to the highway patrol station and then put the rest of the way on. Actually, we can probably go straight in from, in from him. Let's see how this goes. We do have a cowboy repeater, which is probably better than the varmint rifles these these convicts have. They're firing, what was it, 2LR now because of the, well, the mods I have. I'm firing 357 Magnum. I'll finish up these useless 38 special rounds because they are cool. I'm down. Useful here. Hmm. Zero dollars. We sell off. Armored rifle to sell off. Is everyone? Yeah, I'm kind of torn between playing, trying to stay in character or not. I don't know, I don't know what you guys think. The comments will be helpful. Hmm, that would give me some armor. Not really a cowboy. Millimeter, no. Cleaver, why is it? Let's have a look at Here. Grim Sheriff's Office. That didn't sound. What's the sheriff? Ash and Duster. Might as well take the repeater because he ain't gonna need it anymore. I know this is silly, but. So it's good. Full. Oh, anyone here? I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Uh, I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost the package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? There you go. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the cash. What's strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Canceled? 
Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Doesn't ring a bell. Do you know who he was? Where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Well, not for me to say. The man stole my package. I mentioned it a few nights back. One of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. Need to know the best way to get one. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. They were Go getting yourself shot. I'm just gonna lower the volume a bit. Probably because that has given me a few things. I oh, didn't even notice half of these. Yeah, that's for one of the mods I have. Weaking things. Oh, time to go check out the hotel. Peace and Steve. Well, that was for shooting on my behalf. Thirsty. Some of these Sar Sarasaparillas. I'm going to lower the volume of the game volume a bit. Let me know how it goes. Let's go. Four guns. Use up some of the gear if it's around. Breaking and shooting is probably a very bad idea, kids. Now, what would I know? Things are always useful to sell off. Nine mils to sup. Sup. Of other stuff. Very useful in here. Apps. Mills of a Town jerky bank. There's always useful. 17. Do we need to get speech up as well because that can be handy for some of the quests? Any? Um, sir?
Let's see you guys. One down. Shit. Dynamite. Where is it? Where is it? Where is this? That did not go the way I'd hoped. Right. Anything else I can use to heal up? I know it's expired, but now. That was a, a mauling. Goggles can destroy. Doesn't really give me anything. I have to sell off here. Buggles. Yo. Other armor? Definitely. Incinerator? Nope. Do not want. Useless to me. There's some mods that allow them to do things like, oh, I don't know. Here is worn off. Has that actually. Nope, it is not. I don't own the bed. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Bagel. Why, yes, I. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. You might know something about some cans that came through by in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Is that you? Oh, that's just marvelous. What, like I cut you loose so you just so you could run away? Like I don't want your help? I know, it's incredibly just. Others act mistake. Fire stim. Hmm, can't use that one. was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. The problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. 
I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. I'll just bring Law and Order back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Any luck finding a suitable candidate for our next... Can you tell me more about the man of the checkered sluice who came through here? I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Figures. Right. Just see if um the locals will make other suggestions. Where's old man? Town's gone. Hmm. We got the ex sheriff in the prison. I imagine the NCR would be able to bring some law to the town too, but from what I've seen, they barely got the firepower to protect themselves. Bye. Hmm. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Mickey and Vance Casino and Museum. Trying to reprogram Prim Slim to act as I need to get my hands up to three. Ah, oh, shucks. Three fishing batteries and four conductors. Hmm. Get those nearby. Let's check if there's anything here in the Mojave Express. Time to head up to Spring see if I can get anything there. And sell off some of my older junk. Hey chat. You looking to buy some supplies? Then what you got? Can do. Efficient battery. Expensive. The air. I actually had this to hand, so this instead. No. Apparently not. Boo. An 
another satisfied cut. Brim to get Mr. Brim Slim up and running again. Right, here it goes. Let's see, where is it? Okay. Right, that's rim cleaned up. Where next? He's going to head to Novak. Don't tell me it's frozen up again. Right, back again after a crash, and I have it. I've got to go all the way back there, don't I? Let's see. Well, this is annoying. Damn it, New Vegas. In an earlier episode, I said, never change New Vegas, but I didn't mean like this. Well, at least I know where to go now. Here. 10 millimeter round. Six rounds. Like... Okay. And it just crashed again. God. Right. Back now. So I, what I'm going to do is finish up this quest. And then save and end this episode here. Because after multiple crashes, I do not want to deal with this anymore. Right. Eight. Programmers digest. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the beginning. Reprogram Prim Slim to serve as Prim's sheriff. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah. Thank fuck for that. So, like I said, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, I am going to head over to... Over to Novak. Or Nipton. And then try heading towards Novak. I could also try skipping through some of these passes, but I do not want to do that clause. So, that's going to be it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.